Hello there and welcome to another Commodore 64 playthrough. This time I'm playing through the game called The Sentinel. So what is The Sentinel? It's one of those games which is really unique uh, in terms of how it operates and it's very difficult to try and describe what the game is about in a sentence and if you look online you'll see lots of people have uh, tried to and failed. The game, uh, in my opinion anyway, is all about entropy. It's all about chaos and order. So what the Sentinel is trying to do in each of the maps, and I'm just having a quick uh, look around the map, in each of the maps there are basically trees, um, and I'll show you one up there, there we go, there's a tree, and then you've got these uh, alternating chessboard-like squares, and what the Sentinel is doing is he's spinning around on a little plinth, and I'm going to see if I can find the Sentinel on the map, I'm maybe too low down. Uh, and what he's doing is rotating around, and if he spots anything that isn't a tree, he absorbs them and then spits them out. So I'm just going to see if I can find the Sentinel. Uh, I'm maybe too low. Oh, there he is. So that's the Sentinel. So at the moment, he's looking in the complete opposite direction to me. And until you make your first move, the Sentinel doesn't move. So he's spinning around, and if he spots anything that isn't a tree, he absorbs it and then regurgitates it as a tree. So the idea with the game is that you you want to get you want to absorb the sentinel. Now the problem with this is that you can only absorb something if you can see the square it is on. And as you can see, I'm just going to go through here, you know, I can't see much. I can see that tree there and I'll I'll absorb that tree. But um in basic terms um what you have to do, you have to get higher and higher up the map. So he's now swinging round. So what I need to do is to get myself up there. And how you do that is you use the boulders, which is the B command. And then you put your robot on top of the boulders and you press Q. And that then transports you from the uh, where you were to where you are. And then you want to reabsorb your robot and then move up. So the trick is to absorb trees because you can absorb them. Now a tree is worth one energy point. Uh, boulder's worth two, and you, your robot, is worth three. The sentries are worth four. So the idea is, and I'm getting up, I'm getting done here, so I need to quickly move, because what he's trying to do now is absorb me. So as you can see on the top left-hand corner, my little energy thing is counting down, so I need to quickly get across. And then um, hopefully I can get a chance at actually reabsorbing that. So as you can see, he's absorbing me now and he's creating trees in the uh, landscape. So I'm just going to absorb a few trees because I'm getting very low on energy. So it's quite a, a unique idea, really. Um, there are a few nuances to it. Um, sometimes there can be additions to the sentries. Oh, I better go. Better quickly get out of there. Um, you can get uh, you get the sentinel and you get sentries and they are basically the same as the sentinel but they uh, rotate around the map and I'm going to just absorb a tree because I'm really low on energy see if I can reabsorb my my boulder yeah I did okay there uh, and you also get something called a meanie so if the sentry if the sentinel is looking at you but cannot actually get uh, a clear sight of you it creates what's called a meanie and what the mini does is that it forces you to hyperspace, basically go to a, a, another screen on the map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can put some more things on there. And I can. So I'm going to do a row and then we go across. So it's a very it's a very unique game. It's one of those games where if you don't know what you're doing, it's very difficult to work it out for yourself. And it's um, there's a few games like this in the sort of history of the Commodore 64 where people have gone... I can't play it. It's a load of rubbish. I've got no idea what I'm doing. You know, what a rubbish game. Um, I think it started life on the BBC Micro and it got ported to various 8-bit systems and also to the Amiga. It's also been remade for the PC. So um, that's that's uh, a quite an interesting idea. That, but it sort of loses the, the point of it because the whole idea with this is that it is slightly slow i mean i've got this on 150 percent just so i can play through a couple of games for you um and it's also quite alien and foreign there are some you know very clever ports that i've played on but it's just not it's just not the point oh i better go better get myself across the point is is it is, it is this sort of pixelated 
vector graphics world where you know you it's just weird and i must be honest when i first played this my, my mind was absolutely blown when i first played this game i couldn't believe the the sort of the the concept i'm looking to see where the sentinel is and what direction he's going in so i can get in the opposite so i need to be over there somewhere or else i'm going to be in big trouble so put a boulder there and put another boulder there and then get a robot and go across so i'm gradually getting higher and higher up the 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 map so i'm just going to absorb myself and hopefully i'm out of the way of the sentinel so i need to go and see if i can absorb any more trees let's have a look um it's just such a, a beautiful game um i really like this color scheme as well it does change color schemes as you go up the levels but i, I really really do like this color scheme so i'm just going to go and absorb them um, with the, with emulators these days, you if you set it to 150 or 200 percent, it makes a lot of difference because at 100 percent, i.e. normal speed, it's just a little bit too slow. Uh, and before anybody says, "Oh well, that's cheating because it's not how the game was meant to be made," well, the um, there was uh, with, with the Commodore 64, you can get super, super CPUs which basically run faster, and people have done that, and one of the reasons was was for this game. So as you can see, we can see our Sentinel, and he's 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 going um, from sort of right to left. So what I need to do is reabsorb me, which I'll do that, and then I will absorb the Sentinel. When you, um, when you absorb the Sentinel and then move into his square, that's it. You can't actually absorb anything else. You can't just suck all the sort of trees off the map. So I'm just seeing if there's anything else I can absorb. But the more energy you've got at the end of a level, the higher your next level is. So you just you don't go to level from level one to level two to level three. You imagine doing that ten thousand times. You will go to twelve, fourteen, eighteen, depending on how much energy you've got. So I'm just going all the way around. And I'm going to do these. I just don't want to be too greedy. Because if he catches eye on me, I will have a bit of an issue so i'm just going to absorb that see how we're doing it's just such a really clever game oh he's about to get me as well so i better absorb him then i put a robot on there and i do q to hyperspace and then um i am now at the top but i can't absorb anymore you know if i try to i just get the old ping 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 I can't and look at I mean it's just such a gorgeous game. Look, I mean look at all this landscape here. It's just um absolutely beautiful and uh such a big fan of this. So now I'm here, now I've beat the um now I've beat the sentinel. I press H and that hyperspaces me to the next level. You get given a code so that you can start um again. So that code which I will just quickly make a uh, a note of. He says, get my little notepad application up. Never even thought I'd need this. Um, so that is uh, 6751065. I seem to remember this this font, this style of writing from BBC Micros when I was at school. It used to be a program where you could write that sort of blocky font that this is in. So again, this is a throwback from the uh, BBC, BBC Micro days. Um, must be some sort of porting code. Also, the, the CPU inside a BBC Micro is exactly the same as the CPU inside of a Commodore. It's the MOS 6502 chip. So it wouldn't surprise me if there was a lot of continuity. So as you can see, we're on Landscape 10. Different colours, but also there's two of them. There's a Sentry and a Sentinel. So I need to um, make sure that I avoid both of them. So let's just play a little bit of this see what uh, what happens it's it's a it's a very minimal game you know there's not a lot goes on um but it, it is such um it's such an involving game um i'm not sure about the replay game in terms of just constantly replaying it because i would imagine that because there aren't 10,000 levels. The levels are generated from the, the level that you're on, and it's using something called procedural generation, i.e. it's using the level number to actually create um, the, the, the map you see. There'll be some sort of clever formula on there. Um, so so th there are some levels that are just, just absolutely impossible. 
and then you can either hyperspace out or you can go back to a previous level and try and actually uh, win it with less energy or more, more energy depending on what your objectives are but um you know it's a sort of game where i i could play this for hours and it does get quite panicky as as you sort of progress through the map one of the tactics you can employ is that you can actually put a tree in between you and the sentinel so which blocks the way so i'm just going to see if i can can i go up there yes i can so i'm getting quite high up this map i don't like the yellow and the the red it's not my not my favorite combination of colors so i'm going to quickly just get that and then absorb that um i'm just trying to see if can i see any of these can i see where the sentry or the sentinel is well there's the sentinel oh he's not looking near me so that's fine i don't know whether there's a sentry so if i go sort of between the two i'll be able to do both at the same time which would be quite handy so there we go so I'm going to quickly try and see if I can absorb them both because then I don't have to worry about um, absorbing my my robot until I've actually done it. And as I say, on, on 150% or 200%, it does run quite fast and you don't have to worry too much about uh, the lag because the other thing is, is that when you do get a panic, when you start hearing the, the whirring noise, it can be quite frustrating to... Be pressing buttons and it not uh, not responding. I don't know where the other. I can't see him. I must be out of the way. So I'm just going to absorb the my original robot. Oh, well that explains why. So I'm just going to put my robot on there. Q and H. And there we are. So. That's um, that's the Sentinel. So what a, what a fantastic game! I, I I would suggest if you really enjoy the game to check out the the ports for Windows and for other operating systems. They are, as I say, they don't quite stick to the rules and they sort of miss the point. If you can use a mouse, if you can use sort of more modern technologies, they that's great. But it's not really the point of the game. The point of the game, as I say, is this sort of fractal uh, world, this eight bit world where you know it's 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 artificial and it's alien. You know, the more it's sort of three D rendered and beautiful, that that it's not really quite missing the point and there's such a charm to this game as well so you know that's just my opinion um i'll also leave a link to the instructions as well for this because the keys are not you don't use a joystick you just use the keyboard and they're not obvious you know sl and comma and all sorts of things so you you would have a hard time trying to work it out yourself but i wholeheartedly recommend that uh, that you have a go at this the sentinel what a game uh, please don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Any questions, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.